they're not big and old because it's what the way they are they got big and old because they're not spending time around other deer they're just not it's again i think i talked about it before but there's just seems to be this tick at like two and a half or three and a half years old where there's a mental maturity that happens and they just separate themselves from the rest of the herd and then that is what allows them to get large meanwhile the ones that are around the herd and following and going around kind of like the sheep right those are the first ones to get narrow in the boiler room Meanwhile, it's the one that can't tolerate the other ones that is never around the other ones because people want to see deer. And that's another thing. And this kind of guys, we could have a whole nother podcast on this. If you want to get into an area and kill the top 2% or 3% of the deer in that area, like trophy from age, first age, then inches, get used to seeing nothing. If you're trying to kill the 170 inch deer on this property, get your, get used to seeing none of the other deer on this property. And if you don't have the stomach for that and you just want to see deer and that is, it's like a mental petting, like, Oh, I'm seeing, I saw some good deer today. I saw deer. And I was like, okay, congratulations. You're not going to see that big one, that Boone and Crockett deer you're trying to kill. Mm-hmm. He might be near those other deer one or two times this year. Otherwise he's off on his own doing his own thing. And so when I start, if I get honest, if I am going after a truly mature animal, especially the last two years and I get on stand and I'm seeing two and a half, three and a half year old deer and doe. I'm like, Oh, I'm in the wrong spot. This is not where I need to be. And and like last year on the hoof, if I wasn't hunting for doe, when I was actually hunting for buck, I would say I probably saw six deer last year within 40 or 45 cents. Now, if I'm hunting doe and I'm focusing on doe bedding areas, I'm seeing deer all day long. But when I'm actually going after like the trophy class, like when I get a picture of some, you know, donkey in a a public land area, I'm not comfortable when I start seeing other deer because I automatically know I'm in the wrong spot. So, Bill, if that makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. It's actually kind of funny. So, episode uh, 263 was with a uh, an old-timer gentleman that's uh, been on the podcast a couple times, Mr. Tony Myers, and he's from Alabama. Uh, Tony talks about the exact same thing. Uh, he's a, just an old-school bow hunter, um, and he's killed multiple record book bucks in Alabama, one being a, a mid-170s buck off public land in Alabama. Um, and it's the exact same thing. He's like, if you're trying to target those mature bucks, those upper echelon bucks, you can't be hunting where all the deer signs at because that's not where that big boy's going to be at, yeah. especially when he's <laughs> six, seven, eight years old. He's and he not- said they almost hang around the edges of where the, most of the deer are hanging out. I mean, you're exactly the fringes. He's on no, the fringe. That's, that's, that's 100% correct. They are getting in areas where they can smell and see those deer out and figure out what's going on, but they're not, they're not around them. They're not participating with them. It's just like the outlier. It's a good heuristic for a human to understand how to look at the deer. I'm not saying that's not what's happening. Again, I'm just saying it's a good, it's a good training device to like. Okay, if I have access to this property, where am I going to see the majority of deer? If I need to get meat in the freezer, and then where am I going to see ninja deer? And when you can start to conceptualize and understand that, and then accept that it's going to be 20 or 25 sits, and you might get a cl- glimpse of an antler or an ear flicker of him once or twice before he's right in front of you and you stick an arrow in the boiling room like that that's that needs to be your season 